Well, time for another video. This is uh, week four, 2017, NFL picks. I uh, just want to start this video by saying shout out to Mike Lowry. I just watched your video and I've been watching your video for years. Um, and I did feel it last year that you weren't 100%. I'm sorry you lost a loved one, but uh, he said he doesn't want to do it no more because he just thinks the NFL is JD. Wow. If you YouTubers out there, you'll see there's lots of guys doing this and I just hope that you know my videos will get better if I can just you know work on the backdrops work on the thing but anyway I just love doing this so let's get right into the picks there was a lot of wild games last week so I'm going to talk a little bit more about the games and the teams because uh, we all know that as we go along anybody can pick and, and you know, there's no right wrong answer it's just what it is but some really wild games, like, I mean upsets. So, and we just keep going uh, as the weeks go on. And we got a long season, so it's going to be fun. So, um, we start with the Thursday night one. I didn't I listen to the radio to the Dallas game. It was a good game against Arizona. But I do my picks on today's Tuesday. So, Chicago, Green Bay, well, uh... That was a wild pick. Their last week um, was, uh, I think Green Bay had played Seattle or whatever, but um, I had made a whole bunch of picks um, on my pro line ticket, and I was not happy at all. Not one came through. I thought that uh, Green Bay was going to win that game. Um, they lost. But I just don't like Chicago. I'm going with Green Bay on this one. Um, and then the next, so and again, well, look at this, another London game. Now, we'll talk about that London game as when we get to Jacksonville pick, but, um, so this one's, it says 9.30, so I'm just, I'm pretty guessing it's, it's probably a London game, is New Orleans and Miami Dolphins. Now, on my pro line picks, I picked, um, the Carolina Panthers and what happens Drew B has an amazing game and New Orleans won that game so I really just don't have a good I just don't have much to say about Miami I'm sorry Miami Dolphin people are going to hate me for that but um, you'll notice as the weeks go on I just there's just something about New Orleans um, the last year and many years that with Drew Brees, he just uh, you know keeps getting these 5,000 yard passing seasons and like I think he's just going to keep it going and he's got so many receivers and you know with Adrian Peterson now on the team like it's a no brainer and they also have good defense so I'm taking New Orleans on that one and let's hope it's entertaining because the air one was of the blowout with the Jacksonville Jaguars we'll talk, I'll talk about it there now Tennessee Houston I'm not going to spend too much time on that um you no, know, don't get me wrong. There's a couple of good players uh, like on Tennessee, but I'm just going towards Houston on this one because they're home and JJ Watt hopefully remains healthy. Um, like we're getting these at the one o'clock games. So Cincinnati and Cleveland. I will take Cincinnati on that one. I just don't like Cleveland uh, with uh, Andy Dalton. He's a great quarterback, and uh, need to get that. Um, and this one too, LA Rams and Dallas. I'm going leading towards Dallas because. They, you know, played a really good game against Arizona. It could have gone either way. A lot of, like, when I listened to Kurt uh, Warner on uh, his uh, broadcast of it, he was saying just a lot of good plays. And Larry Fitzgerald had a game of his life, like 149 yards. And But um, even though the Rams are up good this year, I'm going with Dallas. Our next game is Detroit, Minnesota. I'm taking Detroit. Um... Matthew Stafford is a great quarterback the way he played last week and I just think he's got too much firepower for Minnesota even though Minnesota home Pittsburgh ball tomorrow well come on guys doesn't matter if the game's in London or not Baltimore played absolutely terrible that was one of the worst games I've ever seen them play I'm going Pittsburgh this one um, because I just don't think well, we can bounce back from that loss uh, Carolina New England 
told you, you uh, YouTubers are always going to go against New England. Um, so, got to take the pants with that one. And just to put that in, you know, Brady's four years old. He's just one hit away. That would be it. And uh, it would be a happy day in my life. Buffalo and Atlanta take Atlanta. Not going to talk too much about that. I watched a bit of the Buffalo game this week just passed, but I also watched the Atlanta game right to the end. That was an amazing game. So I'm taking Matt Ryan as Falcons, Julia Jones, Jacksonville, New York Jets. I'm taking even I can't believe the Jets won last last uh, time. This is week three, and, and that was an unbelievable game. But I'm taking Jacksonville because of their defense. Philly and uh, LA Chargers. I'm going to take Chargers. Don't want to talk too much about that. Just I like Chargers at home. Uh, New York Giants are having a terrible season. We all know that. Just they can't just get it right. They can't score points. They're having problems. They're just rushing. Eli Manning. I'm taking Tampa Bay. San Fran, Arizona. Because Arizona came so close against Dallas, I'm going to take Arizona because I like what they, especially when they're at home. My Raiders. Oh, God, God, was I ever pissed off. I watched that game. Well, I actually turned it off at halftime against the Washington Raiders. I was so pissed um, that, you know, I was finally get a chance to watch my Raiders first time in regular season on prime time and just, oh, the Red Reds. I, I have to give credit to Reds because they played a good game. Well, unbelievable game. So, Oakland deserves love, but I'm picking them again against the uh, Broncos. Um, Indianapolis, Seattle. I'm not gonna talk to about it. I want to wrap this video up. Uh, Seattle, because of uh, like they just been struggling. They need a win. And of course, I'm gonna bet against Washington because I can't. I, I said this is a wild one. So they just played Sunday. Night. Now they got a lot of time to rest. But I'm I'm pulling for KC on that one. And I'll see you guys next week.